how to get along with other people without stress by using the 80-20 rule. Research says that most of our problems and concerns come from human relationships. But by knowing this 80-20 rule and the different version of it will dramatically reduce stress from your life. Just by knowing this simple rule, your relationship with others will become much, much more easier. So if this sounds good to you, keep on watching. So what is the 80-20 rule? It's also known as the Pareto Principle, which explains that 80% of the results come from 20% of the causes. For example, 20% of the best-selling products in a company generate 80% of the total revenue. 20% of the highly rich people own 80% of the total wealth in the world. And this also applies to efficiency. If you focus on 20% of the important tasks in your job, you will get 80% of the result. So the Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule, this is similar to law of nature, right? If you drop an apple, it will fall down to the ground. But what you might not know is that there's a different version of this 80-20 rule. It's called the 262 rule. The 262 rule is used to explain the trend in an organization. For example, a group of ants. There are 20% of the hard work in ants and 60% of the normal work in ants and 20% of lazy ants. This also applies to a human organization. If you're working in a corporation like me, you might have a similar type of evaluation system. 20% of top performers, 60% of average performers, and 20% of low performers. And the interesting point is that if you extract the top 20% of top performers and gather them in a group, you will always get a new pattern of a distribution of 262. Same thing when you extract the middle or the lower, you will always get a new distribution of 262. So your question might be, what does this have to do with human relationship? It has a massive impact on this. Let me explain. It means that 20% of people in your organization love what you're doing, the way you are. And 60% of people are neutral. They kind of like you. But 20% of people, they hate your guts. Did I just say that? Yes, they hate your guts based on the 262 rule, right? The point is, we all struggle when we try to deal with the people we hate. And the more you fight with them, argue with them, try to persuade them, your energy drains, right? Why? It's because you're against the law of nature. You're trying to manipulate the 262 rule in your own way. You're trying to make the 1000 rule to be loved from everybody. And that's totally crazy. You can't change other people's minds, right? And if you had a chance to adapt to that hater's opinion, what will happen? You will just get dislike from the people that love who you are right now. And that doesn't make sense at all. But this doesn't mean that you're right and they're wrong. We're just looking at the world in a different perspective. They're just on the opposite side of the spectrum. They're different species. For example, if you're taking a walk in a park and suddenly a dog starts barking at you, what would you do? Would you stop fighting with him or try to convince him? No, you, you would just be calm, right? You would just think that it's a dog. Or if a poison snake is right in front of you, what would you do? Would you try to fight that poison snake and try to eliminate that poison fang or something? That's crazy, right? I mean, you would just take a certain distance and try to avoid being near that snake. Same thing in human relationship. The haters will hate you no matter what you do. Just be, just keep a distance with them. Don't be arrogant or something. I mean, just treat them with respect that they're just a different kind of people. This way, your life will be much, much more easier. I know that feeling tried to be loved from everybody. When I was 10 years old, I moved from America to Japan. And since Japan is like a denser population in a small island, the atmosphere that I personally felt that it kind of forces you to fit in and not stand out. And everybody has a similar kind of values and goals. Especially in my days, everybody had the same kind of values to get into a good university and a big company and then retire at 60. Everybody tried to be the same. But in the world we're living in, the world of social media, being the same as someone else is not value at all. 
the world is demanding you to be more authentic, to be you. So instead of wasting your time and energy on how to deal with the haters, by the way, our brain tends to focus on negative things. That's why the old traditional media sends out 80% of negative news so that they can attract the audience's attention. Our job is to focus on not the negative things, but intentionally the positive side of the world, the people who love you, the people who like who you are, and focus on how to be more authentic. Because different is better than better, right? Nobody wants another Lady Gaga or Tim Robbins. That seat is already taken. They want to see another you. So we need to develop our talent, what we're more passionate about and what we really want in life, how we want to be the best version of ourselves. In applying this 262 rule that no matter what you do, there's always the people that love you but hate you as well. You have to live with it and just simply let go of the haters. Focus on yourself and your life will become much more easier dealing with other people. If you like this video, I know you will like this one over here. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is about self development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Bye bye.